Hello everyone, this is Raghavi, Assistant Professor from Department of Computer Science. Today we are going to see about the topic Image Enhancement in Spatial Domain in Digital Image Processing. First let us say what is an Image Enhancement. Image Enhancement means improvement of images to be suitable for particular applications. There are many image enhancement techniques based on the application we need to apply the technique every technique is unique for a particular application next let us see what is spatial domain spatial domain is the space where all the pixels form an image in spatial domain an image is represented by f of x comma y where x and y represent the coordinates that is x, x and y planes there is a duality between the spatial and the frequency domain the images in the spatial domain consists of an x y plane here the world distance makes a sense but in the frequency domain the term distance is lot, lost but the word frequency becomes alive as you see the image given below the x and y axis are present in the spatial domain and uh, each pixel is represented as x comma y next we are going to see about gray level transformation a gray level transformation is a function that is represented in a notation capital s is equal to transformation of r mathematical representation it can be written as g of x comma y equals to t of f of x comma y this g of x y x comma y is a output we get when we perform some transformation t on the input image f of x comma y there are many types of gray level transformation let us say in the following first one is the contrast enhancement this method helps us to transform the intensity of the original image into a intensity of an output image using a function contrast means the difference between the bright and the dark intensities or represents the input intensity and the output intensity As you see in the image given, the contrast varies from dark to light intensities. We can perform various gray level transformation by choosing a M value that is nothing but a threshold value. Next we are going to see about image negative. The image negative function helps us to enhance the white and gray details in an image in the image given below this represents black and white the black is represented as zero and the white value is represented as one l represents the total number of gray levels in the image next log transformation log transformation helps us to compress the dynamic range of images with large variations in pixel values the formula for log transformation is s is equals to c log of 1 plus r where s represents the intensity of the output image and r represents the intensity of the input image c represents some constant value the range varies from 0 to 1.5 into 10 power 6 to the range 0 to 6.2 In log transformation, for the lower amplitudes of an input image, the range of gray levels is expanded and the vice versa for the higher levels, the gray level values is compressed. The value 1 in the log transformation equation represents the value 1 is added to a each pixel in the input image because if there is any pixel having an intensity value as 0, 
if we perform log of 0 then it becomes infinity it should not be infinity in order to make in order to overcome that we are adding a value 1 to make at least the minimum value next we are going to see about power law transformation the power law transformation is also called as the gamma transformation the formula for power law transformation is s is equals to c r to the power gamma s represents the intensity of the output image or represents the intensity of the input image and the c and gamma are the constants if gamma less than 1 means it maps a narrow range of dark input values into a wide range of output values if gamma greater than 1 means it maps a narrow range of bright input values into a wider range of output values it is also known as gamma correction gamma encoding or gamma compression now let us see some of the image enhancement operations using MATLAB for example let us convert a color image into a grayscale image first we need to read our image for that we use a function m read I am getting an RGB image To display the image, we need to use the function mshow, mshow of a. It gives the output as an RGB image. Now let us convert a RGB image into a grayscale image declare a variable for converting an RGB image into a grayscale image we use the function RGB to gray of an input image then we use M show to display the image displace a grayscale image now let us see how the log transformation and power law transformation are applied to the image in a MATLAB in this program first I have read an image using the function mread then I have displayed it using the function mshow for using log transformation and power law transformation the image needs to be converted into double so I am com converting an input image into a double and storing it in a variable or for a log the formula is s is equals to c into log of 1 plus r the constant value I am making it as 2 the total number of gray levels is 256 so I am multiplying it with the, this constant next for display purpose we need to convert it into back into its original data type it is an 8-bit image so i am using uint 8 of the resultant t into s then i am displaying it in the subplot subplot means subplot of x y comma position this is what the parameters subplot of 2 represents 2 rows Three represent three columns and I, the third parameter two represents the second column I want to display this log transformation image similarly for 
parallel law transformation we need to convert an image into double next i am assigning a gamma value to some constant 0.6 then performing the formula calculations here for display purpose i am converting the double data type into u8 i am displayed uh, displaying it in the third position now i run this program we get the following about output this is the original image after performing the log transformation the resultant image we get is this one after doing power law transformation the resultant image we get is this next let us discuss about histogram equalization histogram equalization is a computer image processing technique that is used to improve the contrast in images the formula is h of ok equals to nk or k represents the kth gray level and k nk represents the number of pixels in the image having a gray level or k normalized histogram is obtained by p of ok equals to nk divided by n let us see an example in matlab for histogram equalization i'm getting an input image the for applying a histogram equalization the input image should be in a grayscale format that is in a black and white so i am convert if it is a color image i am converting it from rgb to gray then um, to apply a histogram equalization we need to use the function hist eq eq hist eq of the grayscale converted image and i am displaying it in order to see the graph of how the intensity values have changed for a applied histogram image we can view it using the function imhist of c you have to give the levels number of levels 64 let us see the output this is the resultant image which we get after applying the histogram equalization and the corresponding histogram level for a for this histogram equalization image thank you for watching